Hey guys, Delicious VB here again uh, with another tutorial, and today's tutorial will be on positioning. So, um, positioning in VB.net is accomplished in two ways: um, through the form designer that um, Visual Studio provides, or you can do it through dynamically in the code. So, let me create a new uh, project here doesn't matter I'll just call it example um, and this is more of a tutorial this isn't a code or anything um, there are some codes that you can use um, but it's it's mainly just um, a general tutorial on positioning in vb.net so let's add a control here uh, let me add a text box and a web browser now these two components or controls as they should be called are the main controls that you would need to build a web browser now if you see if I drag this open yeah it, it looks bad so let's first fix this up put that there and then put that there and then drag that to there to look good right well, not when we drag it open. So we need a way. See, if you go here, square, it's not going to do anything. So it's going to look really bad. So <clears throat> while you can always disable the maximize box and make it so that you cannot resize the form, there's an easier way. And this is a simple way. It's called doc. So doc has um, five different options. Top, left, right, bottom, and fill. Now, fill is a, I mean, top, left, right, bottom, they're all self explanatory. What, what Doc does is it m basically makes these controls stay um, in a certain area, no matter how much you resize the form. So if you set to top, okay, so let me make the um, text box s um, set to top. No matter how much I resize this part, it'll always fill the top. Okay. Now, that's going to come in use. But how about the web browser? Now, you could say, oh, that's easy, doc bottom, right? I mean, simple enough, right? Well, if, as you see here, if you dock bottom, now look what happens. You resize it. The web browser will separate from the text box. So, um, that's why you shouldn't use doc in that case. Now, a lot of programs are built with this format. A text box on top or a menu strip at, on top, and then some sort of big control on the bottom. But instead of docking it to bottom, we're going to dock it to fill. And when you dock it to fill, no matter how much you resize it left or right, it's always gonna fill the whole screen except for the text box now if you are um, seeing something else just right click and click bring to front on the web browser bring the web browser to the front layer and those problems should be fixed um so anyway yeah that's just simple positioning now there is more complex positioning which comes in the form of the property anchor now you see here top left top left is default it doesn't actually mean anything really you don't really pay attention to it because it's not an important um, thing but let's um, undock this from the top and let's actually say send to back here and let's dock this to I mean anchor this to um, Let's anchor this to top. Let's anchor this to top left. And then let's create a button and anchor that button. Come on. Anchor, thi um, anchor this button to top right. And um, top right. So if you do that, then the button will stay in top right. No matter how much you resize the form horizontally, the button will always stay top right. If you resize it vertically, it'll always stay on top. N now you can also move it to bottom. Okay. Hold on. 
<laughs> this is hard. Um, okay. Yeah, let me just do that. Um, you can also anchor it bottom. So anchor bottom right. Okay, and then if you did that, see how it would stay on the bottom right no matter what? So, now you might say, well, anchoring doesn't actually move. Like, unlike dock, when you click dock and select um, fill or top or left, right, whatever, it will automatically move the control. But anchoring doesn't work like that. Anchoring depends on how you move the form. So the control won't move in anchoring unless you move the form. And that's where the difference is. Dock, the control will automatically fill the fill whatever wherever it's supposed to dock. But anchoring will only move if the form move the form size moves. So look here. If I go to my web browser and I I go to dock instead of fill I go right. Now you see I can I can I can still move that right. But it automatically went from this to this. Now if I anchor this to bottom right, this will only move if I move the form down or if I move the form right. Otherwise it will not move at all whatsoever. So so you can like kinda dance around with it because the web browser is really um laggy just really long span um but <clears throat> see the text box i've anchored top left so if i move this down if i move the form down it will actually no i did i anchor top left anchor no i just anchored it left that's why it's moving now if i anchored it top left let's go up here i if i anchored it top left oh god if i anchored it top left then as you can see, if you did this, it would stay in the same position. So if you run it, because in the canvas you cannot resize the top, but here you can. See if you move top up and down. The button will not move, although it looks kind of weird. But the text box will move. See, and if you, if you resize it horizontally on the right side, the button will move, the text box will not move. If you move on the left side, the text box will move, but the button will not move. So, because it's anchored um, opposites. This is top left, right? This is top left, and this is bottom right. <clears throat> so that's basically anchoring. That's basically all there is to now. There's also um, resizing or positioning um, dynamically. Now, you can set dock and anchor dynamically, but... Instead of doing that, because that's kind of the same thing as setting it from the properties list. Um, instead, we're going to do something else, which actually manually changes the position and the size. So, um, see how the size of the text box will not change. In anchoring, it will. And that's another difference. In docking, the size will change. In anchoring, it will not. I, I must have messed that up somehow. But dock, it will change. Anchoring, it will not change. It'll just move. So, <clears throat> the control doesn't... S the component or control doesn't stick to a certain place. It doesn't stick to an edge and move along. It can be anywhere on the form. It just moves along with the movement of the form. So, they're both similar, but they have their differences. So, uh, I'm going to right-click on the form. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to double-click here. Now, if we run it, we can see what we basically see on the canvas. We see a text box up here and a button down here. So, there are two main things we can change. Size and location. So, let's go to text box 1. Now, text box 1, the size, <coughs> if you go down here, 299 by 20. So, let's change it dynamically from 299.20 to um, 420 when we press the button. So 400, 400, sorry, 420. So <clears throat> let's do this. Text box one dot 
size equals new size in parentheses and then and then x and y so um <clears throat> so i'm going to say new size um 400 by what was it 20 did it say 400 by 20 yeah so it said 299 we're going to move it to 400 and um you you'll see how it works so um let's try this now and if you click the button you see it extends so that's simple enough if you didn't catch it watch closely again click the button and watch the text box extend on on the send boom see it extends so um that's size then there's location so let's go to location of the text box and let's find yeah location um 036 sorry for this all this um all these noises in my mic so um location is 036 and um so we can actually change that location by saying textbox one dot location equals now it's not new location it's different it's interesting it's different textbox one dot location equals new point not locate not new location new point in parentheses um again x and y so <clears throat> Let's say it was 036, so let's change it to um, 140. So if you click the button now, you'll see, watch the text box closely as it moves. Boom, and it moves. So, um, by the way, X and Y are all um, based on pixels. But that's dynamically changing this. Now, of course, you can always do textbox one dot doc equals doc style dot fill or doc style dot bottom whichever one that does it dynamically as well but that's pretty much the property um so i mean most people would know that you can do dot docker um dot anchor as well dot anchor equals and i i'm, I'm not i'm really not sure um as anchor style so anchor styles dot bottom dot left dot none dot right dot top and don't forget, you can anchor um, on more than one side. So you can, um, I believe you can use the plus operand. So, I mean, that's um, basic um, positioning in VB.net, both dynamically and um, through properties. So I showed you some examples. I showed you how um, each example works. Um, again, it's not, it's um, size equals new size and Location equals new point, not location, not new location, new point. So thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, hope you learned something. Hope you can put this to use um, in your own program or whatever you're doing. It's really useful when you're doing um, dynamic movement, such as resizing forms, and you say... Um, Say it's too complicated to use anchoring. Then you can use this and all will be good. And it will be nice and easy. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah. Um, favorite this video. Like it. Comment on it. I love constructive criticism. Um, and subscribe if you really like these tutorials. Um, I just made a series on syntax highlighting, um, replacing text. Um, I also did, what was it just now? I did, um, the file finder, which was, um, file explorer made. So thank you guys for watching and goodbye.